yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America is suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. In the early hours of December 7th, 1941, a Japanese task force containing six aircraft carriers sailed to a point 230 miles north of the Hawaiian island of Oahu and launched 354 warplanes in two waves. These flew undetected to Oahu, surprising the American military. During a raid lasting about an hour and 40 minutes, Japanese pilots attacked every important air and naval installation on the island, destroying 188 Army and Navy aircraft, most of them on the ground, and sinking or damaging four auxiliary ships, three cruisers, three destroyers, and eight battleships. Japan lost 29 planes and five midget submarines. Its fleet withdrew without having been sighted, having won one of the century's more one-sided victories. The ship known as Oklahoma capsized before Serling Kale could go aboard. He immediately dove into the burning waters of Pearl Harbor and putting his frogman training to use, swam underwater to the nearest wounded sailor. He spent the next six hours in the water and rescued 40 men. Most were severely wounded. In less than two hours, America had 2,403 casualties of war, with 1,177 of them assigned to the Arizona. In the words of Admiral Thomas Fargo, who spoke at Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1999, no single event is more central to our concept of national tragedy and national conviction than the events of December 7th. The attorney representing Admiral Husband Kimmel, who commanded the U.S. Pacific Fleet at the time of the attack, had it right when he wrote, Pearl Harbor never dies, and no living person has seen the end of it. Pearl Harbor continues to haunt its survivors, as well as their descendants. Today, there are only a few survivors of that terrible Sunday in December. We can only imagine what they experienced in that short time frame during the attack, as well as the memories that have never been forgotten. In memory of those who died, and in honor of those who lived, as I name your military branch of service, with those members present, both active and retired, please stand. Army. Navy. Air Force. Marine. Coast Guard. We wish to thank all of you for your commitment to protect the freedom that we all enjoy today. And may we never experience another Pearl Harbor. And now, let us honor them by standing and applauding our defenders of freedom and the American way of life.